So I'm going to use this uh, example here to uh, show you uh, exactly how the, the, the sort of the best use for the system to change uh, revisions and update a print. Uh, now this process should work the same regardless of, of having a, a revision change or simply updating the print to um, just a newer updated print of the same revision. Uh, so a couple of things first, um, when I open up my um, current folder uh, and my uh, I'm going to bring in the new print to my current folder. So I'm just going to uh, drag that over and I'm just using some some quick little test PDFs here. When I check out this page, I can see that I have a standard print. It's linked. It's it's called the, the part number Rev B. That's the Rev B right there. Um, when I open the part folder for this um, for this particular part, we'll get that open here in just a second. Uh, and I go to the approved prints folder. Here you can see I have uh, my testing approved print. That's the, that's the print that's linked right there. Uh, if I go to my archives folder, which this gets automatically created in our process, we're going to see this here in just a second. You can see that I have the old revision A print still linked. So this process is important. We want that to happen. We want that print to archive correctly. That way any old rev work orders um, that happen to be in the system, or if you have a situation where in the future they happen to order an old revision, um, the prints will link up automatically, assuming that this uh, revision uh, or archiving, sorry, uh, uh, you know, kind of happens in the way that I'm about to show you. Um, so yeah, let's get back to it. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to change my revision to C and I'm going to save it. And now you can see I no longer have an approved print linked. How, however, when I check it out, uh, here's my, my link to my print. It says it's outdated. Um, and again, if I go to my approved prints and reload that, everything is still connected just as it was before. So that's why it says outdated because this print is still active and still connected, but the revision doesn't, doesn't match. So what I do, again, I've already moved my new print into my current folder. There it is. So I'm just going to click on the pencil icon and that's going to open up my add print Button. So instead of editing this, though, this is my edit from for my link. I don't want to edit this at all. I want to avoid editing this uh, for prints. And the reason is because we want the system to do everything automatically. I'm going to click over to my holding tank tab. I'm going to find the print that I want and hit save and move. And now I get my new print linked in at Rev C. If I click on it, you can see that it opens up. Um, there's my test attachment three. And when I go to my um, my uh, print folder for this part and refresh it. You'll see that I now have Rev C here. Now, when I look at my archives, there's that Rev B. So again, the system takes that uh, old in in that process of clicking edit and then going to the holding tank. Um, the system takes the Rev B print, renames it. It puts on this this date uh, code at the end and moves it into the archive folder. So again, that's really important because any old revision work orders are going to be able to continue to look at that at that uh, archived print. And then all the new revisions uh, will just be looking uh, at the active Rev C print, assuming that they're, of course, Rev C. So anyway, I hope this this helps and makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know.